What's the stupidest thing someone has argued with you about? My father, in his 80s, had a heart attack and fell over in the snow. He broke his ankle and so was in the hospital for an extended period. My mother could not be convinced that he did not do this on purpose to get out of a holiday that he wasn't too keen on. He had a freaking heart attack. You can't just decide to have on just to get out of something. I almost got into fist fight with my best friend explaining the difference between a square and a rectangle. I work at student loans, and if you have a child under 18 and your household income is under a certain amount, you're eligible to receive a grant to help with childcare. Woman comes in, and I tell her with her income. She can receive said grant. She says she doesn't want it. I tell her it's a grant that she'll never have to pay back, unlike her tuition fee and maintenance loan. She doesn't want it as her child is 13 and can handle herself. I say I understand, but explain it is offered to everybody in the threshold, so it's basically free money to help people with children. She doesn't want it. In the end, I asked her if I offered her PS2000 which she would never have to pay back if she could prove her child is dependent on her. Would she take it? She said yes. Obviously. I say that's what the childcare grant is. She doesn't want it. Edit. Spelling. Edit 2. Really didn't expect the comment to blow up like this and so many questions to be asked. I'll answer a few popular ones now. 1. PS2000 was a rough figure given her income. The grant is dependent on intensity of study, living situation including income, single parent etc. 2. When I described it as free money, I didn't mean that the money is free as in it just appears right there for them. It's obviously taxpayers money. I was implying that in this particular scenario for the student, it was free money. 3. A few American people have asked what the grant is called to try and receive it for their studies that, but I'm in the UK. I'm sure there'll be an American equivalent of some sort that supports parents attending university slash college. 4. I understand completely the pride element of not taking the money she doesn't need from the government, but I believe she genuinely wasn't all there mentally, not that she held herself too highly to receive said grant. One that comes to mind is at my high school graduation. Our school photographer took a really good candid photo of this girl smiling up at the sky. I think we had just thrown our caps up there. They put it on the homepage of school website. A different girl I know swore the picture was of her, when it was clearly a picture of someone else. It was sad slash funny at the same time. She said they put this great picture of me on the website. We politely pointed out that it wasn't her. No. She was convinced it was her and wouldn't believe us. It was bizarre. I watched a couple break up over whether or not a chicken could be a pet. They got into this extremely heated argument, which led to them hitting each other. Eventually both of them turned to me and asked for my opinion. I said why couldn't a chicken be a pet? I've seen videos of people having chickens as pets. The girl got mad off at my answer and had to go have a cigarette to calm down. After that, she refused to talk to me because I sided with him. Volatile. I tried to tell my little brother that it was spelled sword not sword. I even broke out the Webster's and a bridge to prove it to him. His reaction? Haha, ha, your dictionary spelled it wrong. In trivial pursuit game I answered Dusi Senhar or some such in response to a question about ships, and the full reading the questions insisted I was wrong, because the card said the Asi Senhar. This was early in the game. I told her definite articles and conjunctions didn't matter, but she held firm. Other players, including her husband, were afraid to oppose her. I gave ridiculous made up answers for the rest of the game. I was watching Escape from New York. My friend got really mad that Snake Plissken was just a ripoff of Solid Snake from Metal Gear. He refused to accept the fact that Escape from New York came out like 17 years earlier and Solid Snake was inspired by Plissken. Someone I work with said, if they can't see drops of water on slash coming from something then it isn't wet. I got a damp cloth and asked if it was wet. No, there isn't any drops coming from it. So I wrung it out and got more water out of it. They didn't want to argue anymore. He claimed that when you cut down a tree they immediately release all the carbon dioxide they have ever absorbed. Hence trees are useless at carbon sequestration. My mother has argued with me over if we are currently arguing. 
I told a co-worker that I was taking a class in archaeology and was pretty interested in majoring in it. He insisted archaeologists dug up dinosaurs. I explained. No, that's a really common mistake. Paleontologists dig up dinosaurs. Archaeologists deal with human stuff. Dude got really defensive and doubled down. Quizzing me on random dinosaurs facts that he probably didn't know either and said I would never make it as an archaeologist if I didn't know those things. His final statement was well. What if you're digging up a building and you find a dinosaur skull? Huh. What are you going to do then? Before walking out. Like dude. You would call someone else who knows about said dinosaur. Also. If I'm digging up a building and a freaking fossil from the Mesozoic era, is there we dug too deep? Dude just couldn't accept he had made a mistake. That filtering water is unnecessary, and dumping all our waste into the rivers is fine because the water cycle takes care of it. Some kid tried to argue with me that babies came out of the butthole. I had a 30 minute argument with a room at once because he didn't believe a canoe was a boat. Someone refused to believe that my brother and I are not identical twins. We are fraternal twins. Their argument was that we looked the same. So we had to be identical. I tried to tell them that it wasn't something you can disagree with because it's freaking science. But they weren't having that. That Vatican City wasn't a country after multiple Google searches. The whole class agreeing that it was and even a geography teacher telling him it was. His response? I still don't think it is, because I can have my own opinion. Got into an argument that Mises is not the plural of moose. In high school we were playing a Jeopardy game, and one of the questions was the Treaty of Versailles ended this war to end all wars. I said WW1 everybody else said WW2. It culminated when my friend asked me to peek it why would they call WW1 the war to end all wars if WW2 happened? I just responded with because they didn't know WW2 was going to happen. We missed that question and the other team got it. That cheese is in fact dairy and comes from a cow. Despite it looking nothing like milk. I wish I was kidding. My brother's then girlfriend argued with me that almond milk isn't a thing. I'd seen a commercial for Jack LaLanne's juicer and I mentioned how you can apparently make almond milk with it. Our conversation went like this. If you squeezed an almond would any milk come out? Well no. That's why you need the juicer. It doesn't work like that. But if almond milk doesn't exist, what are all these things at the grocery store purporting to be almond milk? That's almond flavored milk. How come it's labeled as vegan? That's almond flavored soy milk. If you squeezed a soybean would any milk come out? Shrieks. How to pronounce my last name. I've got a very uncommon last name. However, it's common for the area I'm in. You can tell who is from here and who isn't by the way they say my last name. Anyway, I had someone argue with me over how to pronounce it. Someone else never corrected them. So they thought they were right. No, we've just gotten tired of correcting people. So unless it's really important, we don't. But this person didn't believe me. That blood doesn't smell. Yes. Yes it most certainly freaking does smell. Ever sniffed a penny? That's what blood smells like. I very recently had a neighbor in my flat argue with me that Donald Glover and Childish Gambino are two different people. I don't even listen to his music and I even knew that they're both the same guy. Someone tried to argue that east was actually this direction. Despite us having a literal compass. That idiot was me. Whether or not Timbuktu is a real place. My kids insist I made it up. I've shown them maps and websites to prove it's real. But they still think I made it up. Someone I know didn't understand the meaning of objectively and subjectively. And kept using it wrong. It was so annoying. So I corrected her, but she insisted that I was the one who was wrong. I had to actually look it up on internet and show it to her, and then she still didn't admit her wrong. But at least she stopped bishing about how wrong I supposedly was. Someone started an argument claiming that if identical twins are separated at birth and raised by different families, then they are not twins anymore. I had a neighbor kid who argued with me about a car part one had replaced in my car twice, so I knew what I was talking about. He is a few years younger than me, so at the time I was probably 20, and he was 16. 
and I had just replaced the catalytic converter on my car. He insisted it was called a catalyst converter and not a catalytic converter. We argued for probably 15 minutes about it, and it was infuriating how dumb he was. I even showed him proof that the part is called a catalytic converter, and when we searched it with his terminology it suggested roughly catalytic Crowley instead of catalyst. He still argued and it just made me so angry. My mother argued with me about the hours of operation for the retail chain I've been working at for 10 years at the time. She thought they were closed on a particular holiday. But in reality they only close on Christmas. Half days on Thanksgiving and Christmas Eve. Not that particular day. Eventually I turned to my father and told him to ignore mom and go to the store to get chips or carrots or whatever it was the party was low on. Which was the catalyst for the argument. They were open. Dad got the snacks. And I was left feeling like my mom had no idea what I do for a living. I told someone from church about a pen pull sending me foreign music. She was worried that I might be listening to sexual lyrics without realizing it, and subconsciously poisoning my mind with harmful thoughts. I disagreed. Oh. Life in the Bible Belt. Someone tried to convince me that they could run a mile in 3 minutes. After I called her out saying the fastest was 3 minutes and 43 seconds she then argued that the fastest mile was actually 1 minute. Someone once tried to convince me that Nicolas Cage was in the Fellowship of the Ring. I was like, do you know what the Lord of the Rings is? Elves, Hobbits, Gandalf, are you sure that you know who Nicolas Cage is? Like, are you confusing him with Viggo Mortensen? No. I was pulled into an argument with someone that agreed with me, but just didn't like the way I said it. It had to be said his way. I get to argue with my mom about whether or not I'm angry every time I talk to her. Why do you have an attitude? I don't. See. Right there. Yeah. Cause you're sitting here telling me I'm angry when I'm just playing with my phone. Whatever. I don't know why you always have to argue. I've had a variant of this conversation every week for the last 15 years. I told someone that the romance languages are called as such because they were derived from Latin. She insisted that it was because they were romantic. Who in their right mind would call Romanian romantic? I had an argument with a subteacher about my name. I have a name that is gender neutral, but it can also be a nickname for some girl names. Point it was 10th grade and our teacher had just had the names each kid asked to be called by in her book for roll call. So the sub was asking each kid for the first name. When she got to me, she was trying saying that there is no way that that was my real name it was only a nickname and she would not call me by it. After several others told her it was my name and this lady still trying to say that there was no way a parent would give a girl a boy name point I got up and walked out of class to the office and told them to call her and tell her what my legal name was because she was too stupid to listen to me and I was not going to have her calling me something else. I'm named after my grandpa and proud of it. I got her apology when I got back to class. Back in high school my friend was trying to tell me Alaska was its own country and Guam was a state. I was eating a pickle at lunch. In high school, I referred to my pickle for some reason in the conversation. My friend said, that's not a pickle. It was a pickle. A normal, big crunchy dill pickle. It looked exactly like the pickle you're picturing right now. I asked her what she thought it was. And she said it was a cucumber. I said that she was right. But that it was also a pickle. She disagreed. I asked her what she thought a pickle was. Then, if not the thing in my hand. She couldn't answer. It was the weirdest argument ever. In elementary school, getting off the morning bus, a girl told me that a day is 12 hours long. I informed her. No. In fact, it's 24 hours. This went on for probably 10 minutes straight until I asked the bus driver. To which he agreed that one day is 12 hours. I wanted to scream. Edit at EVERYONE who's mentioning the fact that technically a day is 12 hours and a night is the other 12 hours. I brought that up and asked if that's what she meant and I vividly remember her insisting the whole day slash night cycle was 12 hours total. Around 4th grade I was at lunch. And I saw my friend take my butterfinger out of my lunchbox, and she spent the entire 20 minutes trying to convince me it was hers. My mother insists 
that fish aren't animals, that they are their own kingdom like fungi or plants. We were out to dinner, and I insisted that we ask our waitress what she thought to get some support. She said oh this is perfect. I'm a BO major actually, so I know she's right. You'll learn about it in college. And 8 years later here I'm on the other end of college. My mother still pridefully reminding me how she beat me at that argument. My cousin also believes that if her parents never met she would still be alive. Just in two different bodies. I didn't want to touch that one though. This family is a can of worms. My ex-girlfriend and I got into a pretty heated argument about where the bed sheets should be stored. Personally I just thought that her putting them down with the canned foods in the kitchen didn't seem to make as much sense as putting them with the curtains and towels in the bathroom. But apparently that makes me an idiot. My so. On whether I've seen a particular movie or not. I tell her I'm recording Thelma and Louise because it's about time I've seen it. And she tells me I already have. She remembers we watched it together. I know for sure that we did not. There's no way the entire movie erased from my memory. I never won that argument when it happened. Fine. Then I'm watching it again, if that makes you happy. Had to convince another native English speaker that the word is is a verb. His counter agreement, it's not because you can't to is apostrophe. I worked at a startup that was quite abusive and toxic. This girl was going on about how eating baby animals is sad. I agreed. I said that's why I don't eat veal. Then her and this other girl ganged up and told me that veal was dear. I then say that this is venison, not veal. Veal is baby cow. They laughed at me and told me I was wrong. Whatever. Then she started going on about how I'm a hypocrite anyway because I eat eggs all the time. At this point I was mad. I tried to explain how eggs can be unfertilized but I'm the office idiot at this point. About a month later I was in for my review, my numbers were fantastic, and I definitely deserved a raise, and I was told that my behavior at times was disrespectful, with this exact instance being referenced, because both girls were my superiors. Marital fights are a special kind of stupid. My wife and I got into a fight over how much is too much dishwashing soap on a sponge. Another time she thought that I had put used Kleenex in my in-law's car ashtray which I didn't and wouldn't, I showed her the empty ashtray. This offended her. She said something nasty, and I replied in turn, and started a fight. Since then she's gotten, slightly, better on picking fights and I have gotten, slightly, better on not playing tit for tat. Ninth grade classmate didn't know the difference between India and Indiana. I got an argument, when I was around 8, that some ants have wings and some don't. That was the whole argument. This kid absolutely refused to believe that some ants have wings. It ended with him headbutting me. A girl tried to convince me that hiccups are caused by the gallbladder. Her argument points. 1. Then why do people with no gallbladder never get hiccups? 2. Why can you google gallbladder hiccups and get results? 3. Can you explain exactly how hiccups and gallbladders work? No? Then that means I'm right. 4. Can I explain neither of those? No. But I know I'm right. I spent a lot of time arguing online with a guy over several things. He kept moving the goalposts, whether taxes were higher in the US than most other rich countries. I told him they are not, and linked to a source. Then whether taxes were at an all time high in the US historically, I told him they are not, and linked to a source. And more dumb crap like that. Like how getting a raise means you'll get taxes more and subsequently wind up with less take home pay, you won't. That not how progressive taxes work. It's never worth arguing with an idiot folks. A buddy and myself once argued for 3 hours on the subject of if the Kool-Aid man was the glass pitcher or the liquid inside. My science teacher in 12th grade, yes. She was teaching senior high school science, tried to tell us that if a car is going one way at 60 miles per hour and the wind was blowing the other way at 30 miles per hour, that it would look like the car was going 30 miles per hour to somebody standing still. I tried to give her an out, saying do you mean the road is moving, not the wind, but she insisted that, no, she meant the wind. She also thought that the world was 2000 miles around. Whether or not the eagles were a one hit wonder, they are not, one, eagles are banned, and, two, yes, 
he was from the UK, so that would explain it to a degree, but come on. Lifting weights makes you bulky. Somewhere along the line many women were taught that, if they lift weights a few times a week they will all of a sudden turn into Mr. Universe. You won't get bulky, but you will finally develop that ass you've been hoping will magically appear. I played the flute back in middle school. I was waiting for my dad to pick me up one afternoon, holding the case containing my flute. A kid came up to me and asked about my piccolo. I told him it was a flute. He proceeded to argue with me that it was actually a piccolo, and he knows it can't be a flute. No, it didn't matter that me, the person that actually played the instrument, said it was a flute. He clearly knew better. That being obese is healthy. English is just a trend. I forgot how the subject came up, but one time I implied that sometimes women on their periods have emergency situations where they have to stuff some toilet paper in their underwear until they can get their hands on some proper supplies. A guy argued with me until he was blue in the face that nobody ever does that and it's unhygienic and vile and disgusting and if I ever did that I was nasty and the only person on the face of this earth who had ever done such a thing. I offered to call several people who I knew would all confirm that it's not that uncommon of a thing. And he refused that, because they'd back up my lies, because women always stick together, when it comes to bullcrap like that. I refused to argue with him about any further, and he took that as him winning the argument. I got a phone call from a jewelry store telling me my ring was ready. I explained that I didn't have a ring there, and have never done business with them. She proceeded to argue with me that yes you do, because when I asked if this was, first name, you said yes. I explained that my name was indeed, first name, but that it still isn't me she's looking for. If it's not you then why, did you give me this number? She said with a checkmate tone. I didn't really know how to respond, and just hung up. IDK if it's stupidest, but I had an argument with my mom about how there's too many people in the world today. She insisted, and still believes, that there were many more people 50 years ago. I'm 6 feet 7 inches tall, so people ask me a lot how tall I am. I've had a few conversations go like this. Them, how tall are you? Me, 6 feet 7. Then, no, you're not. How the hell am I supposed to respond to that? Has happened to me at least 5 times now. Whether or not they ran a 5 minute mile, when they were 13. We were 15, when this argument happened. I was so frustrated, because I knew it wasn't possible, but at that time I was still pretty socially inept, and didn't know it would have been better to just drop it, and not be a peen. After all, I was basically launching a full out verbal assault on the state of someone's fitness. I just had a lot of trouble believing a normal 13 year old girl could run a 5 minute mile. Edit, not saying that is impossible. Just that I couldn't believe a 13 year old girl who didn't do any sports or athletic activities could match championship runners. Back in middle school a kid owed me 50 cents. He only had a dollar bill. So I said give me the dollar and I'll give you 50 cents. His response was, but then I'll be giving you a dollar. After a long argument, I gave up, and I don't think he ever paid me the 50 cents. My mother fought with me over me bringing a gay friend into our house. She apparently thought she had to get the place exorcised, and went as far as talking to her priest about it. Thankfully, her priest was not a hateful man, and he made her see things my way. As in gay people are totally normal, and they are nothing to be afraid of. Now my mother is a gay ally, and she was ecstatic, when gay marriage became legal in the USA. Sometimes, the church does help, though in this case, they were probably the root of the problem as well. Sorry for formatting. I'm on mobile. A bunch of kids in elementary school argued that Piccadillo and Pico de Gallo were the same thing. I just was pronouncing it wrong. Being Mexican and Cuban in a class full of white kids made me think I might know better than most. Boo hoo it according to them though. My daughter once argued with my ex about whether or not ducks have butts. She was four. I was just thinking about some dumbass argument I got into on Reddit many years back where I said sex sells and the other person just couldn't understand the concept of sex used in advertising. How to pronounce das boot. That Fahrenheit was feminist, and Celsius was male oriented and woman hating. Please don't ask me to explain her reasoning, as I don't think the term really applies. 
whether I was from Michigan, because of my accent. I'm born and raised in Maryland, and have never even been to Michigan, nor do I know anyone from there, or that has been there. They didn't believe me. Best stupidest argument was, when I've had multiple people arguing with me over where or not I was African American. Edit, JVD Thrive. Bloke I know argued headaches were not real, and they were just your brain making you think your head was hurting. Five minutes after that settled he argued the only dangerous thing about doing ice is, if you try to quit cold turkey, because your body shuts down from having lots of it, and then having none. Essentially he argued ice was okay in small doses. Some actually near came to blows at me, because I refuted his wasted claim, that cables aren't made out of wires. Then he wrote a, sober, three page essay to his nephew my then boyfriend, about how I was absolute trash and wrong for him, and we should break up immediately. Said boyfriend showed me the letter, stared at me as I read it, then told me, when I asked he had no intentions of refuting any of it, then had the freaking gall to act surprised, when I told him we were through. Choke on draft excluders. Luke, you and your bish uncle. How the earth is flat, and I'm dumb for my opinion about gravity. It was one of the dumbest arguments I've had with my ex. We were talking about the end of a movie, and I called it an epilogue. She said no, it was a finale. The finale is, when the storyline comes to the final event that wraps up the movie, like a final fight sequence in an action movie. The epilogue is the scene after the finale, that shows the characters and the future, after the main storyline has wrapped up. Some movies don't even have an epilogue. Arguing that the earth is flat. Back in high school my friends and I were really into Call of Duty, World at War. I had a friend come over once, and started talking about what a good WWI game it was. So I told him it was obviously a WWII game. It even had a mode called Nazi Zombies in it. He said that was the only part of it, that was WWII the rest was WWI. So I read the back of the box, and it said something along the lines of towards the end of WWII. In the first line, he got mad, and left still swearing it was a WWI game. Edit, my bad not WWIII. Kim Jong Un was not there confirmed. My grade 1 teacher telling me 130 equals 60, because the back of the math textbook he used to grade had a typo. I'm almost 30 and still get mad about that. Someone I know argued with me, that her doctor and dog were being judgmental towards her, because she was overweight. They told her she needed to lose weight and she would, would have a better chance to conceive. She was convinced, that it had nothing to do with being overweight, and having cos meant, that she would never ever be able conceive. Despite the fact, that many women with cos have been able to conceive, and have perfectly healthy babies. Everyone was just out, to get her because she's obese. She would need to lose over 200 pounds, to be at a healthy weight. But again, her weight isn't the issue. It's a cos. How to spell my name correctly. I was born in India. Silcha. I have pictures from that time, and from the time in the orphanage in Calcutta. One colleague kept insisting it was wrong, since I was obviously from Africa according to her. She kept insisting there are only Bollywood skin colored people in India. That was a discussion that hurt my brain. How to pronounce GIF. Who gets to take home the empty tequila bottle we drank at the party? On whether or not Gal Gadot is really a man. They argued that the Ice Age didn't happen. That was a frustrating day. Some kid I went to elementary school with was convinced that I was an artsy just because my family, as in great 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 grandparents, came from Germany. According to him, all German people, however distantly, are Nazis, 